Well, tonight, learning to stop the stress, one group of students and their teachers are using a method that's hundreds of years old. As Doreen Gensler reports, it's actually becoming a trend at school that's changing lives and changing minds. It's a quickly growing popular thing among the senior class, especially. 18-year-old Walter English isn't talking about the latest trend in sneakers or music or even social activity. No, he says everyone is doing this sitting still, being quiet, and breathing. A lot of times we get distracted or worried about what's going on around us. And with mindfulness, the key is to just focus on you and your breathing and what you're doing. So you kind of shut everything else out. Mindfulness is a form of meditation born out of Buddhism hundreds of years ago. It's the idea of changing the way you react to everything from stress and anger to more positive things, like finding something to be thankful for every day. Recently, it's become more mainstream, as studies have found that a regular mindfulness practice can actually improve your health. There's MRIs, there's uh, blood pressure reports, there's heart disease reports. So there's a lot of clear data to show that this practice that's been going on for years and years and years really does have significant health effects. Mindfulness can be practiced in any space. Practitioners close their eyes and begin to focus on their inhale and exhale, which helps them calm the mind and tune out stress. Frankie Engelking is in charge of creating the mindfulness program at the McLean School in Maryland. She says teachers in every grade level at the school are now incorporating the practice into their curriculum. So we've gotten students now requesting it. We have students who ask their teachers, when are we doing mindfulness today? Or can we do it again? It feels amazing. It feels like you have nothing to worry about, whatever you're worrying about. You just feel like, oh, you know what, I can resolve it. It's so easy. McLean's seventh grader, Maria Duque, says she was overwhelmed by the stress and anxiety of school until she learned to just stop and breathe, something she now does every day before class begins. It leads not only to become a better person, but knowing how you are and what you're feeling and what is around you instead of worrying about the future. Doreen Gensler, News 4. You can learn more about our ongoing commitment to changing minds, including other ways to deal with stress and how to find help for mental illness. Go to NBCWashington.com and search Changing Minds.